Construction teams are hard at work as the last of the wall panelling goes up this week and the final section of scaffolding is removed at the University of Otago Commerce Building. This used to have a glass roof on top of it and now we've put a three-step three roof into it. <laughs> I'm Roselle Lebone, about to start on a tour of the construction site at the Business School of the University of Otago. The $15 million construction has been years in the making. The mechanical upgrade to levels 2, 3 and 4 is nearing completion and glass balustrades are also being completed on the first floor. The upgrade will see the various arms of the school integrated into one area including the new space for MBA students temporarily located at the College of Education. Well, at the moment we're in the space which is going to be the home of the Otago MBA and this is a completely redesigned space. It's part of the new Otago Business School building which is going through a major revitalisation and rebuild. As I said, this is a new space for the MBA which brings the MBA program which is a flagship part of the business school inside of the building. Access to the building was previously via the main stairs but the redevelopment will see street access from street level to the building. There are new doors going on out the front of the building so you can enter straight in from the road and then through over the Leith River is a new pop-out window area and cafe across two floors and a restaurant. So it's absolutely fantastic. The building's atrium roof will also be replaced. For 26 years we've lived in a building which has been dangerous. The roof has leaked and it had a set of stairs which was slippery when wet, which was quite a lot of the time, and dangerous. So for health and safety reasons, the building project has commenced and um, then the design is really focused on making the building much more user-friendly, warm and watertight. The configuration of the pre-existing building has not changed with the offices and academic departments remaining upstairs inside the building. It is hoped construction will reach completion in late 2017. Roselle LeBone, The South Today.